Difficult, fun, absolutely love it. This is a bulb of garlic containing cloves of garlic. Now, of course, you can buy it peeled, even at the grocery store. It's not that expensive. However, once you peel garlic, it does have a tendency to sort of lose its um, flavor. It gets a little old, but it's a real easy way of peeling it. <laughs> because you don't have to peel it. Open all these things up here. All these little cloves, let's just deal with that for now. Four of them. You know, a lot of ways you can do garlic. You can take your knife, squish it, and peel it off. There's one. Of course, it didn't squish too much. When I say squish, come on, squish it. That's what I meant. When you squish it, all that junk just falls right off. There you go. Another way you can do it, so you can be a little more on the delicate side. Take off the top, peel with your knife. You know what, I prefer my nail, but then again, my hands smell like garlic for quite some time. There's another one. I think that's all we need to show. So there's your squished one, partially squished one, and your peeled one. A couple different ways you can deal with this. Garlic press, people love them. I've always been told the best part of your garlic when you use a garlic press stays in your garlic press. You're squishing it, it's getting all weepy and liquidy and oh no, you don't get a lot of goodness out of a garlic press. Number two, the one that we squished, give it a rough chop. Get off your knife, turn it a little more like this. I'm gonna show you something that does not come overnight. A little bit of practice. A little bit of salt. Now, start taking your knife and you're gonna just start pressing it. Makes everything on your cutting board taste really good, by the way. Off it comes. You're starting to make it into a real paste. This is great, great flavor. Oh, it smells amazing over here. Use that knife. That looks fantastic. Another way you can go about it now, leave that last nice perfect bulb for us. You want to get really, really crazy. Find a nice safe side. Put your little cuts. One, two. There's your little dice little piece into the stock pot. Give it a nice a little more cut. When you cut with a nice sharp knife, you don't bruise. All the flavor stays inside. You're not squishing it and mushing it all over the place. Great garlic. That's it.